Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with Jordan's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II at Al Rafah Palace today in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister in attendance, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Bahrain wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan a pleasant stay in Bahrain, noting that such visits are important in strengthening the bilateral relations and developments for both countries. His Royal Highness the Bahraini Crown Prince affirmed the distinguished relations connecting Bahrain and Jordan, which both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein are keeping on strengthening and promoting the course of bilateral relations between the two countries and their people. During the meeting, the Crown Prince's scholarship program was presented as a unique experience that began nearly two decades ago, and His Royal Highness' keenness on investing in human resources and the students of Bahrain, which establishes a foundation for sustainable development. For his part, His Royal Highness Jordan's Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness Bahrain's Crown Prince for the warm welcome and hospitality, which reflects the depth of relations between the two countries. He praised the developments of a number of projects and vital facilities which he witnessed during his visit, wishing the kingdom progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, visited today the Bahrain Economic Development Board in Bahrain Bay. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein toured the EDB premises and was given a brief by the EDB's chief executive, Khalid Al Mehi, on Bahrain's FDI strategy, a range of local investment projects and opportunities, as well as various services and facilities provided to investors. A presentation was then given regarding important projects within the kingdom's economic priority sectors, including oil and gas, tourism, logistics and transportation, ICT, manufacturing and financial services. The projects presented are worth more than $32 billion and are being implemented in partnership with the private sector over the next five years. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein praised the EDB's leading role in attracting FDI and supporting the kingdom's SMEs, private sector and citizens' entrepreneurial skills. He stressed the importance of collaborating on this manner. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister in Attendance and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein during the visit.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, visited yesterday the Bahrain Institute for Pearls and Gemstones, Donuts, at the Bahrain World Trade Center. During the visit, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein was toured at Donuts Management, toured the Donuts Laboratory and offices. The Institute then gave a presentation on its mandates, training programs and research studies conducted by it, as well as the history of the kingdom's ancient pearling industry, which dates back centuries. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein expressed his pleasure in visiting Donat and noted Bahrain's rich heritage, including its pearling industry. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan further noted Donat's role in highlighting Bahrain's status as a global center for the trade of natural pearls. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Ambassador of Jordan to Bahrain, Rami Saleh Al Adwan, accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan on the visits. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, visited yesterday the Ambassador of Jordan to Bahrain, Rami Saleh Al Adwan, where he met and greeted members of the Jordanian community residing in Bahrain. The Minister of Finance and Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Aimi, stated that UNESCO declared the names of the winners of the 10th round of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al-Khalifa Prize. This year's iteration of the prize focuses on the use of information and communication technologies to make education accessible to those in need. The winners of the prize were Finland's ThinkLink, which enables users to add data to multimedia files using mobile phone and tablet applications, and the Netherlands can't wait to learn for creating games that facilitate the learning of mathematics and reading in Arabic, English and French. To mark the occasion, the minister praised the good reputation that this important international prize has garnered, which is aligned with the UNESCO's objective of making education as accessible as possible through all means. The minister added that the number of participants in this prize has been increasing every year and that this year's prize winners will be awarded in Paris. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence delegation visited the headquarters of the main Baha'i Center of the United States in Washington, D.C. The delegation, headed by the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa al-Khalifa, provided a comprehensive explanation of the religious and cultural coexistence in Bahrain and the freedom of belief present in the country. Ms. Betsy Matheson, president of the This is Bahrain Society and deputy chairman of the King Hamad Global Center, noted that the world today cannot remain silent on the hatred and conflicts that feeds terrorism and that Bahrain is working towards promoting His Majesty the King's vision of sharing the unique Bahraini experience of peaceful coexistence with the rest of the world. For their part, the Director of Public Affairs of the Baha'i Community of the United States expressed admiration for His Majesty the King's initiatives, including the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence. Been aware for quite some time of uh, Bahrain's unique position, in the sense that it has, for a very long period of time, been a country where different religious groups have been able to live together peacefully. And we also have been aware of the fact that that's largely due to the kinds of policies that have been set by the king and his predecessors. And so um, this was very nice in that we got to see in person some of the people who are the beneficiaries of these policies, you know, representatives of a diverse group of religious organizations. And so for us, who really believe in the unity of the religions. And I think in any community where diversity and inclusion is rich, the entire society benefits. So I know that the Baha'is in Bahrain, they're treated very kindly and they're very open to worship. And I think that is something that's amazing and something that we should all try to encourage. The world is, is, is getting more, um, it's more global. A lot of people are traveling and to create a system whereby people are welcome and supported, I think is the vision for the future. And I, I really hope that um, a lot of countries take example from, from that.